so good morning everyone we start with another chapter uh, which is interfaces and the chapter number is 13 uh, so what is interfaces we are going to talk about it all right so moving ahead so what is an interface uh, actually an interface is basically a kind of class like classes interfaces contain methods and variables but with a major difference and the difference is that interfaces define only abstract methods all the methods defined in the interface they are abstract type and the uh, variables which are defined in the interfaces they are final fields this means that interfaces do not specify any code to implement these methods and data fields and they contain only constants Therefore, it is the responsibility of the class that implements an interface to define the code for the implementation of these methods. So, interface basically serves as a function similar to the base class, but it's not a base class. So, some languages allow one class to be derived from more than one different classes, which is called as multiple inheritance. The, the multiple inheritance is not allowed in Java, but it is possible with the help of the uh, interfaces. So, let's look at uh, the interfaces, how to make it and what is Java interface. First of all, let's discuss about it. Java interface is a collection of constants. All the variables, they are constants and abstract method. As we, we have already uh, learned in the previous chapter, the abstract classes, what are abstract methods? Abstract methods are the methods which have a uh, method definition, but they do not have a method body. So, we use a keyword abstract, uh, we use a keyword abstract uh, when we are going to uh, declare the uh, abstract methods. Now, in case of interface, since all the methods are abstract, this abstract keyword is not required. But in case of abstract class, this abstract keyword is a must. So, methods in an interface have public visibility by default. All the methods in the interface, they have public visibility by default. But the methods, they have only the method definition. They do not have the method body. And since all the methods are abstract, abstract keyword is not used. So, interface declaration begins with the keyword interface. So, we use the keyword interface to, to define an interface and it can contain only the constant variables and abstract method. All interface members must be public. Uh, these are some of the characteristics. Interfaces may not specify any implement details such as concrete method, uh, declaration and instance variables. If you can recall from the abstract class, an abstract class can have abstract method as well as concrete method. But in case of interface, you cannot have any concrete methods. <clears throat> All the methods which are declared in interface, they are implicitly public uh, abstract. And all the uh, variables or the fields that are declared, they are implicitly public, static and final. So, they are actually the constants. Now, how to, uh, uh, how to make an interface? Uh, let's just check. So, uh, interface is one of the ways of achieving the abstraction. We have learned what is abstraction in the previous lecture. It is used to achieve pure or complete abstraction and it's a way of implementing multiple inheritance and polymorphism. So, we will have the method declaration which are only the abstract methods and the constant fields or the attributes. All the variables inside the interface, they are public, static and final. Even if we don't use these keywords, they are by default uh, public, static and final. All the methods, they are public and abstract. Even we don't specify these two keywords, they are by default. We can't change these default access modifiers. So, we have all the methods declared inside the interface as abstract only. Now, important point to note over here, just like the abstract class, interface cannot be instantiated. That means you cannot make an object. So, how to specify the interface? So, we have the keyword called interface, interface car. So, this is the way you can, um, uh, you can make an interface. Now, if you see over here, we have two methods change gear and apply brakes now both these methods they are abstract methods that means 
they have just the method body but there is no implementation detail that means uh, how this method what this method is doing is not provided over here the implementation of this method will be provided in a class which uses these methods so if you see over here uh, by default these methods are abstract we have not used any keyword abstract no need of using by default the methods are abstract even if i don't use the public also by default the methods are public going to another interface this is another interface uh, hello uh, uh string uh, we have a, uh, a field uh, which is of string type str hello now by default all the data fields all the variables they are public static and final i haven't used over here any keyword public static and final if we don't specify uh, these three keywords by default the variables are public static and final and we haven't specified over here the public or the abstract keyword by default this method is public and abstract so this interface contains uh, only one method which is say hello so to sum up a uh, java interface contains just method declaration and not implementation some of the points to be noted uh it is the job of the class that implements the interface it should implement all the methods so the class which uh, uses this interface it should uh, implement the methods which are defined in that interface each class is free to determine the details of its own implementation so each class can provide the implementation to the method in its own way if no access specifier uh, if no access modifier is specified then default access is applied and the interface is only available to other members of the same package uh when it is declared as public the interface is accessible from everywhere so if you see over here we have declared this interface as public and no access specifier so this is default and this is public so if no access specifier uh uh, uh, uh is specified so it is default if the access is public interface must be uh the only public interface declared in the file and the file uh must have methods and variables which are uh, implicitly public so these are some of the important points we must uh, remember about the interface so the syntax to create the interfaces we use the keyword interface and followed by the name of the interface then in that interface we define our uh, data members and the methods now how to use this interface in the class to use an interface a concrete class must specify that implements the interface in uh, inheritance we have used the keyword extends even in the abstract class we have used the keyword extends now when a class is using the interface it must use the keyword implements and not extend so implements is the keyword for the class to use the interface and it must declare each method in the interface with the specified signature so whatever the methods are uh, provided in that interface th those methods must be provided an implementation in the class which implements that interface implements key add the implements keyword and name of the interface at the end of your class just like you did extends and the name of the class in inheritance a class that does not implement all the methods of the interface is an abstract class and must be declared as abstract implementing an interface is just like signing a contract with the compiler saying saying that i will declare all the methods that you have provided in the interface or i will declare my class as abstract so if you are not providing any implementation uh, you are not providing uh to implementation for some of the method in the interface then you must declare your class as abstract anyways we will discuss these examples so actual implementation will be uh, provided by the sub classes which implements the interface so here we have an example uh for example uh, we created a interface car over here uh, so interface is car and it has uh, two methods change gear and apply brakes change gear takes one parameter of integer type and apply brakes does not take any parameter both methods are void so if we want to use this interface in a car first thing is 
we must use the keyword implements so class lamborghini implements car so we are not using the keyword extends here we are using the keyword implements so this is the first change public void change gear now here we have to provide uh, uh, the implementation in our own way according to your program needs whatever so your actual logic goes over here then we have provided the implementation of the method apply breaks over here it must depend on your needs so this is how uh, the methods of the interface must be provided an implementation in the class uh, which implements that interface now talking about variables and uh, variables and uh, um, other data members since all the variables inside the interface are static we cannot we uh, sorry we can access it directly using the interface name so if you want to access this uh, uh, this variable hello it can be referenced uh, just by the interface name variables are public we can access it anywhere in the application these variables are final so we cannot change their value so for example we have this interface public interface hello and it has one string variable and one method so we can access it directly by using the interface name uh, interface name is hello.str so the first point goes over here we can directly access it by using the interface name so what are the syntax all right so first thing is interface public interface interface is a reserved word all right now if you want to define a variable public static final string name this public static final if you don't spec specify it will be implicitly stated over here now you have the methods over here the the methods uh, are uh, empty methods that mean abstract methods that means uh their implementation is not provided and each method ends with a semicolon so a semicolon immediately after uh, each method header and no method in the interface has a body all right now how to implement this interface a class which uses the interface must use the keyword implements and it must provide the implementation to all the methods which are provided in the interface so implements is a reserved word and each method listed in the doable uh, interface is uh, provided an implementation over here so uh, now uh, a class can implement more than one interface if you can recall from inheritance uh, we have a inheritance structure something like this uh, multiple inheritance if i talk about i have a class a i have a class b i have a class c class c is derived from a class c is derived from b this is called as multiple inheritance multiple inheritance is not possible in java through classes but it is possible through interfaces so if you see over here we have a class many things which is derived from the interface doable and another doable so this is multiple inheritance which is possible through the interfaces but multiple inheritance is not possible in java through the classes all right coming to the methods of the interface now since all the methods inside the interface they are abstract they must be overridden in the implementing class just like the abstract class methods are public they can be accessed anywhere cannot access the methods using interface name not static methods so we need an object to access them so for example uh, let's see over here uh so we have a class uh, in uh, so sorry we have a interface called hello it has one string variable and the string variable is assigned uh, a value over here uh, then we have one method so we need to implement this interface in some another class we have a class called hello java and it, it implements this interface all right so it has one method so the method implementation must be provided over here now we have the main class in the main class uh, we have the reference variable of the interface and the it is uh, casted to the uh, uh, to the child class 
so in this you can say this is a way you can or you can go the same way hello java you can make the object of the child class and uh, then you can call the method so the class class instance new hello java is assigned to the interface variable and interface is parent so this is called as upcasting we can or this is an example of the upcasting over here so hello dot say hello uh, with the help of uh, this uh, parent class or the interface reference variable we are uh, calling this method this is an example of upcasting how we can implement the upcasting with the in the interfaces a uh, class uses implements keyword to inherit the interface interface uses extend keyword to in inherit the interface now there are two things a <clears throat> uh, interface can extend from the interface for example i have interface a i have interface b this b interface can be extended from interface a so when an interface uses another interface it will be using keyword extend so in this case interface b will have all the methods of a as well as it can define its uh, own methods now the class which will implement this interface b it has to define all the methods of interface a and interface b anyways we will have many type of examples uh, uh, in uh, this uh, lecture and in the slides all right so let's talk about the first example all the examples need to be uh, understood very carefully now for example i have interface a i have interface b this concept was something different and this concept uh, uh, the example shown over here is something different the concept which i just explained over here will come in further slides so if an interface wants to inherit from the interface it must use the keyword extend and if a class wants to inherit the in interface it will use the keyword implement now for example i have interface a and i have another interface b interface a has one method called show interface b has another method called print so let's say that class c is uh, inherited from inherits from both these interfaces now you see over here this is a multiple inheritance i have interface a i have interface b i have class c class c inherits from interface a inherits from interface b that means now the class c will have all the properties all the methods defined in class a defined in class b as well as it can have its own methods and variables which was not possible in case of java classes but this is possible with the help of the interface so this is an example of multiple inheritance all right now since class c uh implements now we have to use keyword implements because in, it is inheriting to uh, from the uh, it is inheriting the interface so it is inherit how to write it uh, interface 1 comma interface 2 and i can make more also all right now going uh interface a has a method show so we need to provide the implementation to the method show over here interface b has method print so uh implementation to the method b has to provide it over here now class c has to provide the implementation of uh, implementation to both the methods all right now uh, going ahead this was the first point i discussed over here now second point interface inherits from the interface i am going to discuss over here so here comes the concept which i discussed in one of the previous slide let me go back which i just explained over here uh this was the concept let me just explain you two different concepts over here what we have done i have a class a i have a class b uh, sorry i have a interface a i have interface b i have class c class a implements interface a class b implement a uh, class uh, c in implements interface b so that means my class c is inheriting from more than one interface this is called as multiple inheritance now class c must implement methods of both the classes let's take other way round which i am going to discuss in the next slide which i discuss the concept over here uh, here so for example i have interface a 
I have interfa interface A has some methods and some variables. I have interface B. Now this B interface is derived from interface A. So A is the parent, B is the child. A is the parent interface and B is the child interface. Now let's say we have a class C. This is a class. C is a class and not interface. C is a class. Now C is implemented from interface B. C is not implementing from C is not implementing A. C is implementing from B. Now listen here. Since interface B is derived from A, so all the methods, all the variables which are there in A will be inherited or B will have all those data members although it does not have to provide the implementation over here. Implementation will be provided in the classes always, not in the interface. So interface B, what B interface will have? B interface will have all the methods from interface A plus its own methods. Now, class C, class C implements interface B. So it is indirectly using or inherits the methods of interface A also. So in class C, class C should implement all the methods of interface A and all the methods of interface B. We are going to discuss this example in the next slide. So uh, this point we are going to discuss now. For example, I have interface 1 in a INF1. It has method 1. Uh, again, you can note over here, it's an abstract method. No implementation is provided. I have interface 2. Now, interface 2 is extended from interface 1. So, that means interface 2 has its own method, which is method 2 and also it has method, method 1. So, interface 2, when an interface inherits from the another interface, we use the keyword extend. When a class inherits from the interface, we use the keyword implement. So, don't confuse between them. So, now let's create a class demo. It implements in for interface 2. It's not, it's not implementing interface 1. It's implementing interface 2. So, if it is implementing in for in interface 2, interface 2 is already derived from interface 1. That means it must have to implement all the methods of interface 1 as well as interface 2. So, what will happen? What we have to do over here? Since interface 2 is derived from interface 1 and it contains the methods from the interface 1. So, in the class, we have to provide the implementation to the methods of interface 1 as well as to the methods of interface 2. So, method 1, we will provide the implementation over here since it belongs to interface uh, since it belongs to interface 1, uh, method 2, we can provide the implementation over here. It belongs to interface 2. And uh, 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 then, in the, uh, then in the main class, we can create an object of the demo class and call all the methods. Now, my question is, if instead of implementing interface 2, the class implements only interface 1, then which method should be implemented in this class? Kindly tell me your answer in the, uh, in the live class. So, my question is, instead of implementing interface 2, if the class implements interface 1, then which method should be implemented? Or then which method should be implemented in interface 1? So, you have seen over here class demo implements only interface inf2. However, it has to provide the implementation to all the methods of the interface 1 also because interface 2 extends from interface 1. That's why we have provided all the implementation to the methods of uh, all, all the implementation to the methods of interface 1 as well as in interface 2. Now going ahead, Difference between class and interface. What is the difference between class and interface? We can make an object of the class. We can instant a class can be instantiated. That means 
you can make an object of the class or you can instantiate a variable and create an object interface cannot be instantiated it can contain concrete methods but it contains only abstract methods access specifiers with the classes can be used like private protected public but only one access specifier which is public so this is the difference between class and the interface why do we need interface because I have given you an example where multiple inheritance can be implemented through interface. That means a class can implement more than one interface. So multiple inheritance in Java is possible through interfaces, but it is not possible through classes. Now, a question is there like in we have learned the abstract classes in our previous lecture. Abstract classes also contain abstract methods. Interfaces also contain abstract methods. So, what is the difference between them? And where we should use? Uh, what, uh, what are the criteria of choosing the interface? First of all, I will answer to the first question. Uh, what is the difference between interface and abstract class? Because we have learned the abstract class, we make the abstract method over there. In interface also, we are making the method as abstract. So, what is the difference? In an interface, data must be constant and abstract class can have all types of data. So, this is one of the major def uh, difference that data, the variable is a constant. Each method in an interface has only a signature. Uh, that means it has only a header, header, no implementation is provided, whereas abstract class can have concrete methods. Now, let's talk about in details, variables, constructors and methods. Alright, so let's uh, discuss uh, more on uh, uh, difference between interface and abstract classes with respect to variables, constructors and methods. So, for the abstract class, regarding the variables, there are no restrictions. But in case of interface, all the variables, as we have learned before, must be public, static and final by default. Even if you don't use these keywords, they are implicitly public, static and final. Now, regarding the constructor, constructors are invoked by subclasses through constructor chaining. An abstract class cannot be instantiated using the new operator, so that means you cannot create the object of the uh, abstract class just like you cannot uh, uh, create the uh, object of the interface also now interface does not have no constructor abstract class can have constructors they can be invoked by subclasses interface cannot be instantiated using the new operator so this is similarity abstract class cannot be instantiated and interface also cannot be instantiated now coming to the methods, there are no restrictions, you can have any type of keyword but in case of interface all the methods must be public, abstract and instance methods. So even if you don't use the keyword public and abstract by default these methods are public and abstract. Alright, so going more uh, going more uh, in detail uh, with the you know, regards to the abstract class and interface types of method, abstract class can have abstract as well as non-abstract methods that means concrete methods but interfaces can only have abstract methods. Regarding final variables, it may contain non-final variables but in case of interface the variables are by default final variables type of variables abstract class can have final non-final static non-static variables but interface can have only static and final variables all variables are by default static and final implementation abstract class can implement the interface i can implement an interface in the abstract class in the normal class it cannot provide the implementation of the abstract class so i cannot uh, provide the use the abstract class in the interface inheritance versus ab abstraction uh, abstract class can be extended using keyword extends and uh, it can be interface can be implemented using keyword implements multiple implementation it can extend other java classes and implement multiple java interfaces uh, it can extend only another java interface only uh, data members accessibility of data members 
it can have class members like private protected etc all the members are public by default so these are some of the differences between abstract class and interface uh, now the question here is how to choose uh, between uh, abstract class and interface where to use an interface and where to use an abstract class uh, in what scenarios i should choose an interface and i should choose an abstract class all right so abstract let's understand first of all abstract class is a class which is declared as abstract it may include abstract methods may not include abstract methods cannot be in, in instantiated but it can be subclassed and uh, it may have static fields and non uh, static methods when abstract classes subclassed subclass usually provides implementation of all the abstract methods now where to use the abstract classes you can consider using the abstract classes uh to these uh, situations or the state if the, the following uh, i am mentioning certain statements if they apply to your situation for example you want to share code among several closely related classes you have closely related classes and you want to share the code among those classes then you must go for the abstract class then you expect that classes that extend your abstract class have some common methods or something common uh, uh something common uh, or the fields or uh, access modifiers other than the public so you can consider in that case you can consider using an abstract class uh you want to declare non static or non final fields this enables you to uh, define the methods that can access and modify the state of the object so if you want to declare non static non uh, non static and non final fields then you may go with the abstract class now coming to the interface what are the situations you must try to use the interface you expect that unrelated classes would implement your interfaces so there are some unrelated classes that can use your interface in that situation you must create an interface for example interface comparable clonable they can be implemented by many classes uh, you want to specify the behavior of a particular data type but not concerned about who implements it so in that case you can try to use a interface you want to take and above all the most important point is you want to use the multiple inheritance then in that case you must uh use the you must try to create the uh, interface so we are going to summarize the interfaces with the help of the examples uh, uh so i'm just going to uh, explain these examples over here i have a uh, i have a interface uh, i have if i declare interface try and i declare an object like this it will give me a compile time error because since all the variables are public static and final they must be given a variable so variables declared in an interface are public static and final variables must be initialized at the time of declaration otherwise compiler will throw an error another thing is class that implements any interface must implement all the methods as i told you earlier else the class should be declared as an abstract uh interface cannot be declared as private and pub protected classes can implement any number of interfaces and interfaces 100% abstract class that has only abstract methods so if you try to declare a variable like this it will throw a compile time error because uh, all the variables uh in the interface they are public static and final so you need to initialize their value so for example if you write like int a public int a public static final int a final int a static int a all the statements they are identical all the interface methods are de by default abstract and public so if you write for example int a10 you skip public static and final keyword uh, it's by default public static and final so all these statements are identical and this is the way to declare a variable uh all right variables declared in interface are public a static and final by default 
inside the implementation class you cannot change the variables declared in the interface because by default they are public static and final so for example i have interface trial uh, i have uh, integer x and it is initialized to 10 now i have a class sample which implements the try interface now uh, in the main class if i try to change the value of this variable it will show it will throw a compile time error because the variables are static and final and we cannot change the value inside the class an interface can extend any interface but cannot implement it class implements the interface there is a difference between extending and implementation in implementation the class will provide implementation to all the methods a class can implement any number of interfaces if there are two or more same methods in the two interfaces and a class implements both interfaces implementation of one method is enough for example uh, we have a interface a interface b both of the interfaces they have the same method a a a then in that case only one time implementation is enough but if interface a has method a a a and here we have method a b a then the class must implement method a a a and a b a so only one time implementation is enough over here and for implementing more than one interface the statement has to be like class name of the class implements keyword interface 1 comma interface 2 comma interface 3 and so on a class cannot implement two interfaces that have methods with the same name but different return type so if they have the method with the same name and different return type it will be an error so they should have the same name and the same return type then only it can implement so if you see over here interface a has a method a a a and it has a method int a a a so when a class implements both interfaces a and b and it tries to implement uh, both the methods it will show an error variable name conflicts can be resolved by the interface name so for example we have interface a it has the variable x interface b also has the same variable x this can be resolved as we know that we can refer to the uh, in, uh, variable of the interface with the help of the interface name dot name of the variable so it can be resolved so if, if the class in, implements both the interfaces so uh, a dot x can refer over here b dot x will refer over here so if we use x it will uh, ambiguous because uh, both variables are as x so to resolve this difference we use the interface name with the uh, in front of the with the variable so advantages of using interfaces without bothering about implementation part we can achieve the security of the implementation multiple inheritance is not allowed in java but you can uh, use multiple inheritance with the interfaces so with the uh, let's talk about the uh, relationship between class and interface a class can extend a class very important point to note over here this is very very important a class can extend a class class can implement an interface interface can extend an interface so these are the important points that you must uh, keep in mind while uh, you are implementing or extending an interface or a class if a class implements multiple interfaces or an interface extends multiple interfaces it is known as multiple inheritance so if a class implements two one, more than one interface it is called as multiple inheritance or if a interface extends from more than one interface it is called as multiple inheritance so if you see over here a class implements two interfaces this is multiple inheritance and over here in this interface it is extending from two interfaces this is multiple inheritance all right so multiple inheritance for example we have a interface called printable it has a method print we have a interface called showable it has a method show now class a7 implements printable and showable this is multiple inheritance so we are going to provide the implementation to the method print and to the method show 
and in the main class uh, we make the object of the child class a7 and call the methods print and show so it will call these methods so this is multiple inheritance by uh, java interfaces all right moving ahead uh, a class implements an interface but one interface extends another interface so if you see over here i have a class printable i have a class showable it extends printable interface so uh, this example we have discussed before also uh, so showable interface will have the method print and show now when class test interface 4 implements showable interface it has by default the print method and the show method because showable interface extends from printable and test interface class is implementing showable so in this class we need to implement both the methods print and show and again in the test class we will make the object of the child class and call the methods interface implementation can extend multiple interfaces so interface can extend multiple interfaces i have interface a it has method headers constants variables interface b uh, same thing uh, it has method headers it has variables uh, it has constants now interface c extends a and b so an interface can extend from more than one uh, interface this is called as multiple inheritance all right so if you have any question and answers uh, they will the, your queries will be answered in the live class so thank you so much for this lecture